I wonder if there are special entry conditions to the crucible, I mean. You think you have to sign some sort of waiver? Here we go then, right? I guess you've got to die of something. Look, Murray, another pair of nobodies trying to get into the crucible. Doesn't anybody know you've got to be famous to fight here? Terribly sorry, but I'm afraid this is a rather brutal business. And it's not just the blood-spurting decapitations. People only pay to see the big names, like Willy Widowmaker or Vice Grip Sally. Not a bunch of unknowns. Oh, yeah? Well, what's your name? Me? <laughs> Everyone knows me. I'm Mad Dog the Strangler McGraw. Best crucible fighter there was back in his day. Bit redundant, isn't it? What? What do you mean? Well, why do you need the strangler part if you're already a mad dog? Well, it's intimidating, isn't it? Seems confusing to me. I mean, I get Irving the Strangler Gibbons, it toughens it up a bit, doesn't it? But it's not like mad dogs your given name. You know, I never thought about it before, but she's got a point. No, she doesn't. Look, if you really want to compete, go and make a name for yourself so the crowd will actually give a flying... Look, that's all you need. A bit of luck and you'll be famous in no time. No way I'm letting that friend of yours in, though. She can stay out here and make fun of my name all she likes. An impressive display, Hammer. You have managed to alienate the very men whose favour we need. Only one of them. Hero, you must find a way to impress those men, and you must do it alone.